module one. Module one is the Excel refreshment and enhancement of working ability with Excel. So you know about the uh, Excel. Uh, Microsoft Excel is a commercial uh, spreadsheet application written and written um, uh, and distributed by Microsoft Microsoft Corporation. And uh, this uh, Microsoft Excel specially designed for sorry Max, Microsoft Excel specially designed for Windows uh, operating system and Mac operating system. Okay. So you can uh, use Excel uh, with true platform, Windows platform and uh, Mac OS platform. So other spread, uh, spreadsheet applications are available. Example, LibraOffice and uh, um, Apache Office. Uh, this Libra and uh, Apache Office uh, both are open source. That means free, free and open source. But uh, the MS Excel, uh, it's the commercial spreadsheet application provided by Microsoft Corporation. Corporation. Uh, this uh, Microsoft Excel uh, um, <coughs> collected under the uh, Microsoft Office package. This Office package have more than sixteen uh, uh, softwares included. Sixteen more than sixteen softwares. The uh, Word, Excel, Access, PowerPoint, Visio, Infopath, so many uh, pro programs are collected under Microsoft Office package. Okay. This Office package produ uh, produced or distributed by Microsoft Corporation. And the uh, current version at this time released by Excel 2016, not uh, 2016, now 2019 and 20 available. Okay, so normally uh, 20, Microsoft 20 <laughs> available. Um, the, these are the, you know, about uh, the Excel uh, MS Office package is one of the commercial spreadsheet application. So if you want to purchase, uh, to install this uh, software, around the, this, this software around uh, MS Office package, around uh, the professional uh, version 35,000. Okay, and uh, start and other other releases around uh, eight thousand nine thousand, and uh, another version uh, released by Microsoft, the Office three six five. So this this one is the I think uh, thousand or thousand five hundred. You can purchase thousand or thousand five hundred. This is spreadsheet tools capable of performing calculation. Analyzing data and in integrating information from the different programs. Okay. Using this Excel, uh, we can uh, perform some calculations. Okay. Calculations, DC calculations, uh, especially uh, the, some uh, the the real the real world calculation applications like the salary calculations or uh, the cost calculation. So, so many cal different calculations there. So we can perform some different calculations using Excel. And analyzing data, we can analyze uh, the statistical data or sensory evaluation or biostatistics okay, using this package. And integrating information from different programs. So, so you can collect the data using Excel uh, and then you can share this Excel data with other packages, other programs. Example, you can share this uh, Excel data with the other access database or you can share with GIS application, you can share with AutoCAD application, so you can share with other programming package, programming, uh, Java, C++, C Sharp, this uh, programming, so we can merge, we can integrate with other all programs, mostly all, all programs. Okay, so uh, the Excel is one of the, uh, not database application, but we can manage data set using Excel. 
documents saved in Excel 2007 or later version are saved with the .xls extension. So the file, the Excel file extension is .xls, xlsx. Okay. This is the uh, uh, extension file extension, Excel file extension. Okay. Uh, the later version or later version of previous version the before Excel 2007 uh, <coughs> .xls. So then, okay. So previous version XLS, now new version XLS X. Right here, um, Using uh, uh, this is the uh, first page, and uh, here you can open new uh, Excel package. Also, uh, you can open from previous uh, save files. These are the recent files, and look, uh, otherwise you can. Excel window. This Excel window um, organized with some uh, uh, ribbons and uh, toolbars or uh, panels and the worksheet. Okay. So now here, seed one is available. Seed one. Okay. Uh, if in the, this seed covered uh, or arranged by uh, cells, every single box called cell. One cell created by uh, intersection of row and column. This cell created by F columns and uh, uh, six row. Okay. So this uh, have uh, uh, unique cell address. That cell address make by the column name and then followed by row number. Uh, that's in the H six. So, so active cell uh, address. Uh, appear in your uh, formula bar here. This is the formula bar. Okay, the X6. So you can find the active cell address here. Okay, you can select multiple cell uh, using drag and drop. Uh, and otherwise, you can select a discontinued cell using control key. You can select uh, discontinued cell. Or otherwise, uh, not continuous cell using control key. Okay. And uh, this uh, worksheet have more than uh, uh, sixteen thousand columns. Okay. So the number of columns not uh, problem to you. So more than I think uh, this uh, last last row is this one. After that, no row available there. Okay. So, so every course uh, so, uh, column name uh, label with alba characters A B like that A B C up to set after set then uh, start A A A B A C like that. Okay. So every sixteen thousand columns are headed by header name or row name. That's row, row name made by Al Alba characters. And every row um, numbered, okay, normal numeric numbers. One seat have more than uh, uh, one million rows. So the last row of this seat, okay, nearly one million rows are available. So Number of rows also not problem to you. So more space available. You can manage your data within the seat. Okay. And here every ribbon, this uh, the file tab have some basic file settings, save and the setting and other settings are there. And the uh, home ribbon have some uh, options. Um, basic formatting options and uh, yeah this all, all are basic formatting options 
and uh, then the insert uh, ribbon have some uh, inserting uh, options and the page layout the page designing and footer header and footer and something related the uh, page layout or india page uh, related things here and this is the formula the formula means you can find the calculation using some formula the already predefined formulas are they are using this predefined formula you can uh, create your create to your own uh, solution and the data setting so here the under the data ribbon have uh, more statistical analysis and uh, data related setting and review and view okay. these so every ribbon have some uh, individual uh, um, options option means buttons using this button we can uh, create or we can apply this uh, specific task okay right uh, now we can we can enter some data here First two class, I covered the basic uh, Excel. Then we will start the advanced part. Okay, right. Okay, here uh, the already uh, every column width are specified. You can increase or decrease the column width. So, example, uh, point out the cursor between this uh, uh, column. You can uh, increase or decrease the width of this particular uh, column and the name column, some large width and the address. And uh, uh, the marks, three marks columns, we can select these three uh, uh, column and click one or arrange the one cell. The all selected cells are equal column widths. So you, you can uh, arrange more than one rows in one shot or one arrange uh, one uh, drag and drop okay and uh, here the in the in the excel some auto format are already predefined auto format means uh, you can uh, uh, example ag uh, 1500 and then click and drag the, uh, the here this data, this, this Excel uh, cell data have uh, numeric data and the text data. The first one text data and then uh, numeric data. If this data have the numeric and text data, it, when you drag and drop, drag and drop, the, the numerical data added by one automatically. Okay, uh, no need to enter one by one. You can uh, <coughs> create this list like this, or like drag and drop. And if you want, to, so now this one the uh, two, and this one four. Okay, now two. Now select this data and drag and drop. All are two data because selected data only one value. Example here two. And then one, the second one, four, select these two data. Now the Excel find the two data and the relationship between two, two rows. The relation uh, set between two uh, data is so increased by two. So then increased by all other two, uh, increased by two. Otherwise you can find uh, one and five, then here, the difference between these two selected data is four, so added by four, and then nine, like that. The interval added the next values. And also, um, another example, uh, the Monday, more NBAY, Monday, okay? So this is the default uh, weekdays and 
like this. When you click and draw, drag down side, automatically increase by next uh, available uh, next dates. The Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Then they then again Monday, Tuesday, like that. Like that, uh, you can match M O N. M O N is the a short form of the Monday. So you can drag and drop this also. And uh, uh, January. We can track automatically uh, this the next month. January, March, like that. Uh, and also you can VAN. VAN means short form of the January. Okay, so you can uh, list the uh, list data by using any uh, license. That's a series data or series of uh, some predefined uh, strings. Example: Monday, Tuesday, January, February. Now the, I select agriculture. We can track. So we all are agriculture. So agriculture, science, medicine, engineering. Now I select these three data and copy and paste. This uh, set of three days are repeated again and again. Using this style, you can fill uh, your data, fill out your data uh, in your in AG and um, 50. You click and drag, automatically increase by one. Okay. The name actress. Uh, actress, yes, Otra actress, your district. When you enter this uh, district value, when you enter this district value, uh, example, we have only uh, the district from Gefka. Colombo and the info. Okay. Uh, we are listed uh, for uh, the district. So all students, all students from this uh, four different uh, districts. So. So district listed only this one of one value from this list. So we can set this uh, data as list. Select the uh, list. Now I want to set up to uh, this uh, 60 and uh, go to the data. And here the data validation, data validation. Take data validation and then uh, using this dialog box here, th this uh, list. Okay, list select the list and then click this one and select this uh, given uh, district list. Okay, and then uh, the ignore blank. The, the ignore the blank uh, input and in cell drop down. Okay, click these, these two and click OK. Now, when you click this one, the arrow will appear. You can choose the address. When you type in any other district, the system not allowed. 
So uh, this is the easy to enter the same, basically somebody uh, enter different spelling mistake, we can omit that one. So we uh, only select within this uh, selected list. Okay. Otherwise not allowed. When, when to uh, um, this this is the uh, the technical errors. So somebody uh, uh, can't find this or can't understand about this uh, technical uh, uh, notification. So we can uh, we can uh, give the, our own uh, error message. Okay. So again, select this data. And here go to the data validation and set set the data uh, for the list and input message for oh, error alert. Now, now I set uh, this error alert. Stop title uh, the uh, the input error. A message. You must select uh, address from this list item only. So we can uh, set the uh, style of the error alert. We can stop a warning, warning like this and the information like this. If you set the stop without uh, the criteria, we can't not move other area. Uh, this one, only the view the warning message only. I said this one, and this is the title of the error message. This is the body text of the error message. Click OK, right. Now I type a different style. When you click next one, error message in our specified error message. It's the title of the error message and this is the body text. You must select address from this list of item only. Okay. Otherwise you can uh, continue next one. Okay. This is this list to specify address only. And uh, so you can select anyone. Okay, here marks also, marks also, uh, marks uh, uh, also lies between zero to hundred. Okay, so sometimes when you enter data, the the data uh, the possible chance to uh, uh, miss entering data. Okay, so uh, you can. Uh, uh, validate for this uh, marks data. Select this uh, marks data, and uh, or oh, otherwise you can select entire data. So when you select this uh, uh, data using the uh, column header, the entire uh, column are selected up to last row. Okay, you can select like this also, and uh, go to the again validation data validation. And here setting allow the value hall number between or you can choose uh, not between or equal to or not equal to you can select from this list. I select between now and minimum zero and maximum hundred. The marks minimum zero and maximum hundred. And uh, uh, error alert I Input marks, input error, and you must in the marks between zero and hundred. 
and also i put the input message also Now I set input message also. So setting some uh, on the listed data between zero to one hundred, and input message also set, and the error alert also uh, uh, set by us. And click OK. Now when you uh, mouse over or click the particular text, this comments will appear. This is the input message. Uh, you, uh, you can enter this data 45 okay and 25 okay 85 okay sometimes 1 to 175 error message will appear you must enter marks between 0 and 100 this uh, this message given by me or given by us okay so this is easy to uh, understand the message what will appear in the error okay so this is the uh, method to uh, restrict the data sometimes in the minus marks also For example minus 45 not allowed because our data allow data between 0 to 100 Okay, uh, these are the basic data. Uh, using this uh, home ribbon, you can uh, format this uh, entire data sheet. If you want to apply this uh, basic formatting, first you want to select the data first. Okay. First we want to select. So uh, if you want to apply this uh, uh, first row and first column and second column, you can select like this. Click and drag in your uh, the, the column label, the entire row will be selected. If you want to select all uh, rows, you can click and drag like this. If you want to select entire seat, click this corner. This When you click this corner, the entire seat will be selected. Okay, so if you want to select uh, some particular data, you can select it like this. Now, I set this uh, false data sheet uh, uh, text on style and size. Select first India seat and uh, select the font, st font style and uh, select the font size. Okay, font size. Um, now, if you want to some ex example, the one name is uh, large name. So this is the hidden by hidden by uh, uh, the next column. If you want to rearrange this column, the easy way double click on the uh, border. The, if you want to increase the A column width. Uh, a, a column width uh, with using the content, double click on this border, automatically expand the uh, column width uh, with their content. 
here also when double click on this automatically fit with their contents the large contents this one automatically fit with this content okay so you're seeing this uh, double click you can uh, 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 fix the uh, uh, column width automatically uh, using the um, uh, column contents and row also, we can select the row, entire row, and uh, column width. Right click on this uh, row and row height. You can specify which is the row height, okay? Uh, otherwise, you can uh, put the row height, example 20, and okay, then the selected uh, row expanded for the uh, given row height. Otherwise, you can uh, uh, increase or decrease the uh, row height using uh, using manually. Uh, now select this entire row and click the uh, row border and set first the selected row height. And all particular rows are uh, set the same uh, row height. Okay. And here these data. Uh, the in ratio number uh, data okay this uh, all data here this all data align with right side of this uh, 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 column and here also right right align here also right align and here also uh, uh, left aligns okay so when you enter data within the excel sheet if your data, um, numerical data, automatically this numerical data align with the right alignment. If your data, uh, the text value, automatically arrange this text value in right, uh, sorry, left uh, alignment. Okay. Uh, then you can change. If you want to change this data center, you can select this data and uh, this is the center alignment. Okay. And you can select this one also center alignment. And here the you can find this uh, data within the cell. Example this one, uh, vertical uh, horizontally left side. Okay, horizontally left side, but vertically bottom, not center. So all data. Uh, the uh, vertically uh, horizontally okay, left or right or center, but vertically all are bottom side so you can select the vertical uh, alignment also these three tools are vertical alignment these three tools are horizontal alignment horizontally left horizontally center and horizontally right this one vertically top vertically center and vertically bottom uh, here the vertically center is better now this all data centered in vertically okay horizontally we get, you, you know about the right left center okay next uh, here this uh, so using this uh, uh, tree and tree uh, vertical horizontal alignment tree and vertical alignment tree uh, you can set nine different alignments okay and uh, here this here the name appear Name appear uh, uh, the narrow width uh, left side uh, border. Start otherwise start from left side border. We can uh, uh, put space between this left side border and the text uh, left side text. So this is the indent. Using the this uh, increase and decrease indent, you can put space between the line and the uh, first letter. So this one increase. When you click increase button, increase in then the now this space will appear. And here also you can set space increase in then. When you click multiple time, the increase uh, the space are increased. Otherwise, you can decrease the space in then space. Using this indent space, you can put space in front of the text. Okay. And now I set this one, uh, the bolt, okay. 
uh, and center. When you uh, uh, the print uh, print preview time, or when you print, print out this take print out this data, this data without borders here like this. So because these borders are only guidelines, not uh, the physical lines. Okay. So these are the guidelines. If you want to put the border, select the entire data, and then. Uh, using this border uh, uh, option, you can put four borders. This is the bottom border only, top border only, left, right, and if you want to put all borders, you can select this one, all borders. Now, this all data with borders. Now, you can find the print preview like this. <coughs> okay. Right. Uh, using this uh, the ball detail again, like you know about this, uh, this the font style, <coughs> ball detail like underline in the border <coughs> and <coughs> fill color. You can fill the color using this one. This. Okay, select any color from this list. You can put uh, color. And select other <coughs> rest of the data, and you can choose another color. Okay, right. And this is the font color. Uh, you can choose different font color to be selected. First, select the content, and then you can choose the color. Now I select red color or any other color. Uh, now uh, your selected contents are changed as red color. <coughs> okay. <coughs> and also here the alignment, alignment. Uh, here the, these are the uh, different uh, alignment. Sometimes in this uh, marks, uh, marks. Uh, Column width, uh, most of the marks uh, two digits. So uh, we can uh, reduce the column width, but the marks one marks would take star more number of uh, characters. We can't uh, uh, reduce the size because so the marks labels are uh, uh, cut. Okay, so we can arrange this uh, data like this because uh, more number of marks uh, want to be uh, fit one A4 side. Uh, we want to reduce the column size. So now this label is like this, or cutting. So we can the, uh, the label direction in the bottom to top or bottom to top to bottom. Okay, now increase the size and select this one and click this one and select uh, vertical text or oh, rotate text. Okay, this is better. Marks one, marks two, marks three. So you, we, we can uh, uh, give the direction of the text between the cell, within the cell, uh, in uh, uh, bottom to top, or top to bottom, or left to right, like this. Right. Uh, this one, uh, the merge and center. Uh, example, I, I put uh, this uh, five students uh, group one and next rest of the students group two. Uh, we want to mention here group, we are OUP group. Okay. Here vertical and horizontal. Uh, center and here we want to set these uh, five students are group one so we want to merge these five cells as one cell so click this one merge and center this uh, selected all cell are merged as one cell 
now we can put the group one and rest of the cell you can select group two then you can uh, uh, place this text within the cell as center or vertically center or for and horizontally center now using this uh, merchant center you can merge the number of cells as one now i place the border also there file and then print now our table like this 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 uh, five uh, rows are merged as one cell and here rest of the six uh, rows are merged as one cell okay and th this one the uh, wrap text means wrap text means uh, example uh, when to enter some data uh, example uh, the uh, reg uh, here registration number registration number okay here this uh, registration number right. now when to type the uh, text uh, some so sorry, label some uh, characters are cutting because the the text on the condensed line uh, greater than the column uh, width okay so in this case we can select this uh, cell and the wrap click this one automatically fit this content within the cell okay uh, now i uh, type more data Okay, now this this uh, contents actually placed in this uh, J one cell, but this uh, text uh, view up to M column. Sometimes uh, this K column have some data and this one some data. This uh, uh, the cell contents have more uh, text, more characters, or more text, but appear only part of the text in this case we can select this cell and click this wrap text all the text merge or wrap within the cell automatically uh, wrap within the cell okay right so using this wrap option you can uh, wrap the contents within the cell and uh, uh, next one if you insert one column uh, before or after before or after uh, you selected the column uh, now i want to insert a new column between district and marks one so select the marks one now and right click insert okay insert or oh, otherwise you can select this one insert cell or insert column now i right click this one and insert now automatically insert one column before the selected column okay now this uh, column i write payment i think this one like this one so we want to remove the data validation. Use this any value, that's okay. Most of the the payment or currency values placed in right side, so you can set as right side. 
using the right alignment and also vertically center and here this payment uh, are the currency style so you can put this currency style here the dollar sign or percentage style this is the thousand separator is the decimal place you can increase or decrease the decimal place Just using this uh, tool you can increase the decimal place two decimal place okay or you can place one decimal place using this tool two tools you can increase or decrease the decimal place if your data values are uh, floating values or so, uh, decimal uh, floating values uh, when you uh, click this uh, increase or decrease value the value automatically rounded yeah. and if you want to put the this uh, thousand separator click this one now the thousand separator also there okay right otherwise if this one percentage the find the percentage of this value and uh, if you want to put uh, uh, currency style in front of the payment value actually this payment value now the numerical value you can add no subtract on uh, any other mathematical calculation you can make on this uh, payment okay uh, if you want to put the the, uh, uh, the currency style in front of the text if you put manually in front of the text then this value changes text value after that uh, we can made any calculation we cannot made any calculation the take uh, in the value you place the currency value using this one here the different uh, currency styles are there dollar or euro anything if you want to put the dollar sign click the dollar sign now this this sometimes your data like this this mean the column with not enough to display all the values is within the uh, column so you can in this the column uh, uh, with automatically appear the actual data okay so these are the dollar sign the data uh, appear with dollar sign uh, if you want to set uh, in our local currency this is the rupee sign select this one and go to here the no rupee sign there you can select more accounting format otherwise you can select, select this one the number format okay similar this both are same when you click this uh, uh, more accounting style or the number style so the same dialog box will appear okay so now select the accounting option the category as accounting and here these are the two decimal places and the current these are the default currency style but the current currency symbol dollar sign we can search uh, our uh, rupee sign there the r category uh, um, r list Yeah, this is uh, this here the rupee sign here. Select this Sri Lanka. Select this rupee sign and click OK. Now you are data with rupee sign. This this data actually this is the numerical data. You can uh, make uh, mathematical calculation on this uh, payment uh, data. If you uh, type RS dot in manually, then we can't. We cannot uh, find any calculation on this uh, field uh, in this uh, column. Okay. Now this is the actual uh, currency data. Uh, data. Uh, we can meet any calculation on this. Okay. So you can uh, select any. Uh, if you uh, put any other. Uh, um, Okay, also the automatically uh, the fit 
the the rupee sign if you want to set this one as a dollar sign select select this one and click dollar sign now this data in dollar uh, currency symbol uh, but this column are uh, with the rupee sign uh, currency symbol okay right so today covered uh, only basic editing basic uh, editing on excel sheet basic formatting and basic editing some uh, the form ribbon tools up to this okay next class i will explain about this uh, set of uh, uh, tools so you know about one by one and then uh, after that we we will um, find any or we, we will find any uh, real application solution okay first we want to know about all these uh, uh, ribbon all these ribbon icon and then insert and page layout okay mm, uh, okay thank you